Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of wide receivers who certainly want to be targeted throughout the game. It's Jones' Falcons going up against Jackson's Buccaneers. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week three matchup. It's Thursday night in the NFL, and we welcome you to tonight's matchup here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sim. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the light. I think you said it right. Center stage, players love it. Anytime you turn on their lights, they know it's special, and it brings out the emotion out of these players. And also, though, let's don't forget, the fans, they've been here all afternoon getting ready, so we're going to have a loud crowd also. Martin's back, ready to feel the opening kick. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. Martin's got it on the return. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20 yard line. Starting at quarterback, a third-round pick in the 2013 draft out of NC State, and right out of the box, started 13 games in his rookie campaign, quarterback Mike Lennon. Mike Lennon, a third-round pick out of North Carolina State by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, played last year as a rookie, and I think he was absolutely outstanding. You give this guy a chance to play, he'll get it done. The Falcons, defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. The defense gets the sack. Uh, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. The Falcons set at the line. Dime package from the gun. And they swap them again. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you've got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it, because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. The Buccaneers line up. Everybody split out wide. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Oh, it almost picked off that time. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Hester's going to try and return this punt. This big return's going to set up his team in excellent field position. Hey, the offense has a chance to do something with this drive. First and ten. Ryan gives it up. Jackson's taken down at the 26. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Dropping back three. And Foster in on the tackle. When you play a cover three defense, you protect against the deep pass. But the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open, and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Coughed up the football. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. Nice tackle. Well, that's what you call a takeaway. That time, the defense just...
ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Has Jackson. Jackson's tackled down at the 29. When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between some linebackers. The Buccaneers have it at the 29. Martin's taken down at the 33. And now we'll look at the Buccaneers' offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. The Buccaneers take it from the 33. And he's taken down. My gosh, you're talking about getting overpowered. I guess they were expecting a speed move. The right guard and right tackle are both pulled. They get run over and they give up a sack. The Buccaneers take it from the 28. Finds Evans. The Buccaneers put themselves in a terrible situation. Third and long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. Gains maybe five. Coming up, second down. Jackson's got it. First down. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Murphy's lined up now as a slot receiver. First down at the 48. And James is going to secure the handoff. And picks up maybe three or four. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Lays out and makes the catch. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First down here. Martin lines up in the backfield. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw it that time when they stopped the play for a short game. Two tight ends on the field here. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 25. That's a gain of only a yard. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Mounting a serious drive. The Buccaneers have it at the 24. He'll fire it out to the left. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. The Buccaneers fans certainly had their heartbeat raised a week ago in a last-second victory, and now, once again, they're going to have to hold their breath to the end. Yeah, but they got to feel confident in the fact that they know their coaches can make the tough calls. They like their quarterback. They got a defense that can make plays. They like the situation they're in. Falcons now will start their drive at the 32. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. The Falcons from the 32. Here's the handoff. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Falcons from the 37. Jackson's going to take the handoff now. He's taken down at the 35. 
Jackson is going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific, and he does a good job finding a hole and picking up those yards. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Ryan's on the move. In the end, it picks up only a yard. That's second down coming up. Two-minute warning. And now they'll try over again on second down. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. Ryan over to Jones. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. Matt Ryan under center. Three-step drop. Roddy White makes the reception. Good yardage picked up on that ball. When you throw this pass as a quarterback, you've got to stick it right onto the body of the wide receiver. They are nervous because they're running across the middle. Ryan's back in shotgun formation. It's out of the pocket. That's Ryan. Cuts down. Falcons. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open to make the catch. And we're going to have a stoppage here because the booth wants to have a look at this potential touchdown. So we have a challenge. Did the ball break the plane of the end zone? That's the question. Here's the rule. The tip of the football, all it has to do is touch any part of that white line, which is the end zone. If it nips that line, then it's going to be a touchdown, Jim. That's what we need to look for. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Inside the last two minutes, this one had to be instigated by the folks upstairs. They challenged the call on the field, and in fact, it was the proper thing to do the play is overturned. Yeah, good job by the officials upstairs seeing it, knowing there was a mistake on the field. That's what I love about the NFL. I'm not afraid to miss. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. I would bet first to go with the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Falcons lined up now for the point after. The point after is good. The Buccaneers return team hoping to set up something before the half as they've fallen behind the scores seven to three. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Martin's got a chance to return this one. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Buccaneers offense ready now to see what it can do. Takes it from the gun. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Second down and ten. Has Jackson. Well, they talk about it's third down lead. You got to pick up third downs to, to have success and win football games. Good play call, good pass, good catch. Now it's third and short. I like the offense's chances. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 25. Has his man. 
They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. The Falcons signal for the timeout. set to punt here. Hester's got it now. He stacked up at that point. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. One more snap and halftime. He's scrambling down. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. Almost intercepted. We've come to the end of the first half in the Olympic City of Atlanta. We'll take a quick break here for halftime before returning for the start of the third. We welcome you in now for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Falcons have to like how they've played so far. The Buccaneers really looked great last week, but it hasn't been so easy for them in this one. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Falcons have it early in the second. Jackson's going to head outside to the right. He'll pick up more than 10 yards on the play. Sticking with the same drive. Fights found coming across the middle. And the play will come to an end after a gain of 15. Falcons now later on the drive. Quick pass and completion is made here. And this goes 12 yards for the score. The Falcons go up by four. Later on the drive, Jackson's going to take it off the right side. And he came off the nine play drive with a TD. They're now on top by four. So that's it from here. We'll kick you back down to the field for the start of the second half. With Phil Sims alongside and Danielle Bellini reporting from the sidelines. Jim Nance from the Georgia Dome as the third quarter is about to get underway. The Falcons come to the line. They'll start this drive at the 33. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. First down at the 33. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Falcons take it from the 33, trying to work that left side. Breaks out of that one. And tackled down at the 43-yard line. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Here's the quick toss. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring them down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Matt Ryan under center. The Falcons will take the snap from the 45. Ball is out, and he's thrown to the ground. And the recovery is made by the defense. That's what you call a takeaway. Hold on a minute. They're going to stop play and take another look at that last one. So now they're going to take a look at whether the knee was down before the ball came out. Well, when we look at this, let's look when the knee hits the ground. And as we look at it, when the knee hits the ground, does he still have total control of the football? If you deem him to have total control, then it is not a fumble. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, it was called one way on the field. It was a booth review, and the call is overturned. Great situation to be in for the defense right here. It's third long, and even though their team is losing the game, you could get after the quarterback and hope you can find a way to force a turnover. Looking to go deep. And that's Burner, who almost 
comes away with a pick. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, and the defense is dominating. And I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. This, The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Martin's got a chance this time. That picks up 11. The Buccaneers now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. First down at the 36. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. Martin takes the hit and is brought down. We see now just some of the many hits this quarterback has taken during a challenging day for him, Phil. Jim, it's very understandable why he is not playing well today. Think about it. When you have less time to make a decision on where to throw the football, you are not going to have a great day. Second down now. And Evans is going to get set in the slot for this snap. He'll throw it over the middle. Gets it out for the completion. He's brought to a halt. The Buccaneers, good job that time moving to James, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got your you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Quarters formation here for the defense. Second and 13. Looking across the middle, almost intercepted. This is a tough situation to be in. It's third long, and I'll say this to the coach and the quarterback. Don't take a chance. If it's covered down the field, throw it short. It's an empty backfield for Glennon this time. Third down at 13. Got the completion. And it's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Kick in. It's through there. The kick is good. Never take it for granted. When you're trying a field goal, a lot of things could go wrong, but good execution at time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. They face first down. Nickel formation here for the defense. Ryan's going to take it from the gun. Gets away from the pressure, and he's forced to the ground. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Now on the move. He's in the clear, the 20, the 10, and in for the touchdown. Nice job by the receiver, running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. The Falcons now will tack on the extra point. And the extra point is good. White's resting now as the kicking team comes out. He's a dangerous receiver, and he showed it on that last drive, picking up a ton of yards. The main reason why his team put that scoring drive together. Martin's going to test the coverage here. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Buccaneers bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. 
Mike Glennon takes a look down from under center. First down and 10. On the money. And that's Dent in on the stop. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Secures it with two hands. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. This should be the last play of the quarter. Second down and seven. Has Jackson, and that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Heading to the line for a third down play, and this was something they specialized in last week, converting in these situations. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. That's a huge third down conversion, especially after all the failures leading up to this point. First down here after the run. Murphy's in the slot. The defense has the football. In on the stop. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. First down at the 20. Scrambling now. Ryan, Atlanta in for the score. Well, the NFL, no lead is ever safe. So when you got the lead, you push it on in there, score another touchdown, and keep putting the pressure on your opponent. with an extra point try on the way. The point after try is in the books. The Buccaneers will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 21 to 6. Page will test the coverage. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. First down, offense ready for the snap. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Looking ahead, the Falcons will be on the road in Minnesota next week, while the Buccaneers will be on the road in Pittsburgh. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Could have been intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Evans lined up in the slot. Third down and 10. And he's going to be dropped. And that's a three and out for the offense. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is, he did not try to force.